Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Techies. In this video, let me explain how to implement Toaster Alert in Angular 17 with standalone template. So first we can start from what is Toaster Alert and then see how to implement in our application and also we can see the different properties in this Toaster Alert. So first let me go to my application. As usual, the first step is we have to install the packages. So the command is npm install ngx toaster. Okay. I hope the latest version is 18. Okay, the package is installed successfully. We can verify. See. So the latest version is 18.0. Okay. And the next thing is uh, we can create one component. So the name we can provide toaster. So next we can map this component in our routing side. Okay, let me save this one. And the next thing is uh, we can move on the app config. So here we can include the provider, provide toaster, okay. And the next thing is uh, we have to include one CSS reference that in our angular.json. So in this style section already we have two CSS files. So after that we can include our toaster CSS. Let me take the path. So if you go to the npm site you will get the complete information. So the first step we installed the packages and then uh, importing this toaster model it's so this is only for the model based template so since we are using the standalone template we are following this method okay provide toaster okay this is the css path okay i just included it here and next in our common side we can have one constructor okay here i am going to inject this toaster service and then writing on function so success okay and then we can use this extension toaster so it's having a different functions for showing the alert success we have this success so the same way showing the error we have this error option and for warning and also we can show this information so first let me start from this success after that we can use other properties also so here uh, first we have to provide the message i would say saved successfully and then the title I would say just success okay so if you have any additional properties uh, we can include it here by adding this object okay so currently it's not needed I am just removed so let me save this one and parallel in our HTML side first I'm going to have one mat card So these are the material elements and also it's not mandatory to have with an toaster alert for the better style only I'm including these items okay and in this button click we can bind the function so in this real-time scenario uh, if any of the action is completed based on that only we will show this alert message for this example, I just added one button. Uh, we are binding this function. So once we click this button, automatically we can see the notification. Okay. Let me run this one first. Okay. Uh, we are getting some error. Okay. We are using this mat card and uh, this button, mat raised button. So let me import both. Okay. So the same way for the button, 
we have to include the button model also. Okay, the error got resolved. Now see the screen. Toast. See now, if I'm click to this one, see, we have this uh, notification alert. So we choose the success option. So that's what we are seeing this uh, green color and also this tick mark. Okay. So it, now it is closed automatically. Uh, whenever we are seeing this notification, if we click the outside, it will be closed automatically. So the same way, if you need a button, we can enable it here. For that, we have to use the additional properties, okay? So see, we have this uh, close button. So we need to enable this property. See now, we have this close mark also here, right? So next we can see the display position. Currently it is showing in this uh, right side top corner. So I'm trying to move in this left side for this one we can use this position class so the value toast top and we are going to move this into left side okay see it is showing in this left side so the same way if you want to move this into bottom so instead of this top we can use this bottom so actually we have some custom classes okay we just imported the library so the same way we can have some of our custom uh, classes also so let me check this one see so the same way if you want to show everything in this middle we can give sender see now Okay, okay, this is fine. And the same way we can increase the timeout. So let me include that property also. Timeout. So we can provide 100 milliseconds. See, it is closed very quickly. So then we can increase a little bit. So now it will be available for some time. So once I'm clicked, it will be closed automatically. And the next thing is, so in this function, we have included these all the properties, okay? But in this uh, application point of view, uh, we may have uh, this kind of functions in different places, but these properties are common, okay? So we can handle these all the properties in the global manner. For doing this one, uh, we can move this all the properties into this our app config side okay we can just include like this I just to format it so even if I'm not provided anything also it will work accordingly okay so suppose if I'm changing something here, okay. So as of now, we have seen only this success. The same way we can see the error now. So what I'm going to do in this HTML side, I'm going to have three more buttons. Okay, miss error, then burning, and the final one is info. Okay, so after adding some CSS, we can see the four buttons. Okay, so next in this button, so instead of the show success, we can have this show error and show warning. And the final one is show info. 
okay so the same way we have to write the functions also let me show error and then show burning info okay so instead of the success uh, we can use this error and say failed and the next one is warning and the final one is info so the error got resolved so now if i'm clicking this access uh, we will know and the second thing is error see and then warning and then info so now if i'm clicking all the alerts continuously see we can see the alert and also this uh, icons for this information we have this i for this warning we have this warning symbol for this error we have this one for the success we have this tick mark okay and one more thing if i'm clicking continuously it is creating n number of duplicate items okay so this duplicate creation also we can block for doing this one uh, let me go back to our global configuration side after this timeout let me include this prevent duplicates okay we can provide us true so now see so if i'm clicking a number of times it's not going to create any duplicate so this is the way our uh, toaster alert will work with an angular sounding application with a standalone template so still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching